It turns out people still think the double slit experiment proves the observer effect, so here's why you're wrong. First, we have to establish what we mean when we say something is real. In this case, the definition that we're going to use is that something is real if we can make a prediction about a thing with 100% certainty without disturbing the thing. That is, the thing that we're describing with 100% certainty exists independently of any sort of experiment. If you don't like that definition, if you think that nothing is real until it's observed, well then you're in the realm of solipsism, which is a strictly non-scientific philosophical position. It can't even be in principle tested, and so this doesn't belong in a scientific discussion. With that out of the way, let's talk about how we know that consciousness doesn't play a role in the double slit experiment. First, we have to specify what we mean by the observer effect. To talk about this scientifically, we have to describe it in a testable manner. One way to frame this hypothesis is that the interference pattern will only not be observed when a conscious observer detects it. Put another way, if a conscious observer doesn't detect the results of the experiment, then we should see an interference pattern. This is a falsifiable hypothesis. You could run the double slit experiment, and you could set up apparatuses that could, in principle, measure which slit the photon travels through, but not actually interact with it at all. In that case, a conscious observer never actually figures out which slit the photon went through. And so according to our hypothesis, we should see an interference pattern. And yet when this is tested, we don't see the interference pattern at all. In fact, if the which path information is even in principle accessible, we see no interference pattern, which would suggest that this is just a matter of the interaction between the detectors and the photons and not conscious observers at all. Now you might object that you have to observe something in order to see if the interference pattern is there or not, but according to the definition of what something being real means that I gave earlier, this is a nonsense objection, and again, you're reaching for solipsism. I hope this clarifies some things. I'm very, very tired of hearing about the double slit experiment proving the observer effect, because it doesn't. In fact, it disproves it. But I'm sure that there's still going to be plenty of people who didn't watch through to the end of the video who are still going to come in and comment and say, no, you're wrong, the double slit experiment proves the observer effect. So what can you do? Anyway, thanks for watching.